Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov and today we will create image using Adobe Stock images and also we will uh, use a 3D object downloaded from apixelsquid.com. Uh, first of all, um, I will need to separate uh, the dancer from her background. I downloaded this image from Adobe Stock. Um, to separate her um, from her background, I will use quick uh, selection tool. Just like that. And we selected her hair and everything what we need. Um, to clean up um, uh, parts between her hair, I will open Refined Edge. And I will clean up uh, some pixels between her um, hair. Um, it's not primary for me. I don't need to make uh, my selection uh, perfect uh, specifically for this project and you will see later on why but if I will need perfectly selected hair uh, I will spend more time uh, with a refined age for sure just very quick and click OK. Just uh, I'm I'm still on um, e selection quick selection tool. I will click um, option. No, I will just bring I, this part of her hand. OK, I'm satisfied with uh, what I'm having right now. Edit, copy, edit, paste. I will deselect, uh, I make my um, first layer invisible and now time to bring um, our, Im our 3D object uh, I downloaded from Pixel Squid. So click on object I want to work with. I want um, to remove shadows, I don't need shadows and I want to have um, a high resolution uh, 3D object. Also I would like to um, change angle of my object, simply click and turn your object in any way you want to. I will zoom out my image just to make it visible using uh, edit free transform tool. I will resize my pixel squid object just like that. I will uh, zoom in and now I need to resize my uh, dancer. Free transfer tool. Just like that. Yes. Now I want to make um, um, my dancer standing inside my 3D object. So I will select my, highlight my um, 3D object layer, click on layer mask using simple brush with black color. I just like will erase uh, part of my 3D object. Just like that. I will zoom in make my brush size smaller and like that because I erased mask out more than I wanted I will switch color of my uh, brush to the white make my uh, brush size smaller and I will paint back Now it's like my uh, dancer stands inside of our 3D object. That's cool. What I need right now, I need to bring a background. Zoom out. And for background, I will use um, 
uh, Adobe Paper Texture Pro. I highly recommend you to use um, uh, Adobe Paper Texture Pro. Click on my highlight my uh, first layer. And I would like to uh, resize my background. Just like that. And because um, we have a uh, kind of feeling that our uh, dancer breathing up as uh, a glass, we need to bring some piece, uh, pieces of um, the glass um, under our uh, 3D object. How we can do it? We, I have downloaded um, broken glass from uh, pixelsquid.com. I will click on the uh, first one. I will uh, need high resolution 3D object and I will bring this 3 object down. What I need to do right now, I need to um, resize, make this glass piece of glasses smaller. Like that. Just slightly. What I need to do um, else, I would like to make um, uh, pieces uh, of the glass um, brighter. Adjustment, exposure, just like that. Click OK. And now I would like to bring another uh, a 3D object downloaded from a pixel squid, like another um, pieces of glass. I will highlight my uh, top layer just because I want to bring pieces of um, uh, the glass up front of all layers. Add new. And we have another piece of glass. Uh, example, this one. And I need a uh, high resolution object. I will bring this down and I will resize it. Because like, right now it's too big. Just like that. Also, I would like to... Um, and make it um, brighter, image, adjustment, exposure, and like that. And click OK. All right, now I would like to apply effect to my dancer. How can I do this? I would like to use adjustment layers. Why I'm using adjustment layers? Just because if, I, if I'm using adjustments as a layer, I'm not ap applying any changes permanently to my image. If later on I would like to change um, anything in my adjustment layer, I simply coming back and apply any changes I want to. Um, so I would like to use a gradient map right now. But I would like to apply adjustment specifically to um, this layer. And uh, let's see what I would like to use. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot. Uh, I will delete this adjustment. I need to apply adjustments to my uh, dancer. How can I do this? I, I highlight my um, dancer layer and I will apply gradient map directly to specifically to this layer. So uh, let's see what gradient map I would like to use. This is cool. Not this, not this. Maybe this. Yes, I like this one. Also, uh, I would like to use another adjustment layer. I will use Vibrant just because I need uh, same color of my dancer, like my entire uh, project color. Let me bring saturation down. And, and I will show you why I'm applying adjustments as a layer. Example, uh, right now I kind of don't like uh, my gradient map, so I will try another gradient map. I will simply deselect my first applied gradient map and I will apply another gradient map. So let's see. This is, I kind of like this one. Maybe this. Decision, decision. Hmm, I like this one. Okay. And now 
I'm coming back to my layers. I will still highlight my uh, dancer and I will apply styles. You can bring a um, style panel from window and styles. I will use this one, this. Let's see what I like most. I like this one. And let me change few uh, effects. Simply double click and you will open uh, layer style panel and you can adjust your um, style. Like that, I like it more. Click OK. Now I will highlight my um, top layer and uh, let me bring adjustments back. Uh, let me see uh, exposure. Just like that. Another adjustment. Let me try brightness contrast. Like that. And guys, our image is ready. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.